Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 436. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. And well, we got some news for you this week. There are quite a bit. Uh, we got four in total. Yay. <laughs> that's a... Uh, that's been consistent. Last week was more than four. I think five. I don't remember. But still, let's carry on. Uh, in the first news for today, M.A. Larson did a Q&A on 4chan, revealing cancelled script, early show discussion, and more. So, uh, let's read this up for a bit. In honor of the 10th anniversary of our glorious pony cartoon, M.A. Larson ran a quick Q&A over on 4chan slash MLP board. Uh, I went ahead and extracted everything he responded to. Uh, I is Sephisto here, along with the sorry, along with a few neat screen caps he posted of scripts he worked on, along with Cancel's episode. Check it out below. So one of the few questions he got was, "Who was your favorite character to write for?" Rarity is my favorite to write for because of how the depths you don't expect her to have. I love talking to her. Sorry, I love I, uh, I love taking her from extreme like Sonic Rainboom to suited for success, which I didn't write. She's also the easiest, in my opinion, for fun dialogue. I love her lines in Ponyville Confidential. Hmm? Rarity does have that um, genesis qual around about her, and uh, I think. When you have a character like that, it's easy to kind of make, I won't say make fun, but it's kind of easy to um, put her in silly dialogues and whatnot, like just have fun with the character. And she's not the, what you want to call this, uh, atypical snooty character, but she's a lot of fun. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, you really lucked out. <clears throat> sorry, you really lucked out with the pony job, didn't you? Sure did. I was desperate for work too. Uh, Lauren took a chance, and I will be grateful. Yeah, the the pony gig in the early days was something of a how do I put it? Um, it was a job it, it, it wasn't really something that the show creators were kind of in it for the glory and whatnot it, uh, back in the early days it was just a job uh, you go in you write you do your nine to five and then uh, clock out but because of the fandom and how it is uh, convention after convention uh, people like larson uh, Amy King Rogers and many more got well got famous got a uh, well known and people now know who they are and because of that uh, they gone to better stuff and whenever you see Larson's name on a show you expect quality from it so that's awesome and yeah P My Little Pony Friendship is Magic had that magic that kind of surpassed logic. It's hard for me to explain why this show is just dang popular. It, <laughs> people could say that it's because of the merchandising, because of the marketing, uh, because of this and that, but I dare any of you uh, marketing students to sit down and explain to me why this show became the hit show that it is. Because when you look at it, uh, marketing for it was just normal. Uh, promote toy, sell toy. That's about it. But anywho, I'm not gonna uh, state my opinion on it. If you marketing students are there and want to explain it to me, please do so. I would like to hear it. Um, okay. <clears throat> Uh, I think this would be the last for me. So anyway, uh, how were you and Lauren? Sorry, um, how were you and Lauren and the rest planning to wrap up the show prior to Force Indication ending? 
did you actually have plans that didn't involve turning Twilight into another princess or was that always the end goal? Hmm. I don't want to speak for anyone else. I know Lauren and her plans that uh, sorry, uh, I know Lauren and her plans and then she left and the show kept going sorry and the show kept getting pe um, getting picked up so i can't really say i was only a freelance writer on the show so i wasn't really in the place to be coming up with show endings hmm that's pretty interesting uh from what i remember and from what i heard um the twilight becoming a princess was always been the uh, plan and the show was supposed to be uh, the show was supposed to end there and that's why we got the ending that uh, the ending that we got for season three uh, everything kind of tidied up and became a nice little ball but since hasbro wanted more and they wanted to have what you call this uh, yeah, they, they wanted more and they wanted to have more episodes till season 9. Uh, they can, you know, continue on. And if I'm not mistaken, the script that Larson wrote down was rewritten by oh, Megan, Megan McCartney. And she kind of made it into what it is now just so that we had that season 4 for the future. Uh, that's what I remembered. But anywho, uh, let's move on to the next news. I mean, there, there's a lot of here that you can catch up for yourself. And well, uh, moving on to the next news. So anyway, Pony Life heading to Discovery Family in November 7th. So it's been a while. We kind of finished watching it in the Canadas, yes. And now it's officially heading to... <clears throat> uh, the Discovery family, so cool. So, good thing comes in small packages. The brand new series, My Little Pony, Pony Life is coming to Discovery family on Saturday, November 7th, 11.30 a.m. Eastern. So, yay! Um, I, I guess Family Discovery is going to show Pony Life. Uh, this would be really interesting because... <clears throat> We got no idea how they're going to, what you call this, uh, prom. I won't say promote. I I say how they're going to show this because, like I mentioned before, uh, Pony Life is only an eleven plus minute show. Uh, let's just say even if you be really generous with the ads, uh, probably fifteen, uh, twenty probably, probably twenty minutes. So, how do you even, like, is there going to be ads after ads, or are you going to show two episodes in one week? Which, um, I think um, they did for a few times. I, I don't know. So, it's going to be one of those things where, how are they going to show the show? I, I guess once... It's out on November 7th. I could check it out and take a look-see. Probably. Who knows? So yeah, uh, if you do have the Discovery family, awesome. You can now watch Pony Life on TV. Woo and next one is Rainbow Rock posted to YouTube in full by Hasbro. So oh, this one has been a while because um, My Little Pony Rainbow Rocks is the second My Little Pony Equestria Girls movie. This one, um, why this, <laughs> why is this uh, significant to have its own news time? Is because that, mm. it's because that, uh, you get to watch it fully on YouTube. Before this, it was on uh, Discovery Family, on the Netflix, and on the DVDs and Blu-rays. So you don't really have much of an option to go and watch it digitally. I mean, you could if you wanted to uh, watch it on the Netflix, but now that it's on YouTube in full, that's something else. Um, that's pretty cool. 
uh yep it's here on the youtube links yeah yep on the official my little pony website so you can go and watch it if you want and yeah who knows they might upload all of the equestrian Girl series and lastly my little pony crossover collection transformers my little <clears throat> wow my little pony crossover collection transformers my little prime now available on hasbro pulse We've been reporting on this one for a while now, and yes, the My Little Pony figure or the My Little Pony crossover figures have been out and about. Uh, there was a Power Rangers one, and now uh, there's the um, Transformers one. So if you are a fan of the well crossover collection thingies, you can get them on Hasbro's own website. Uh, let's go. Let's go check and see. So. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, you're limited to two per customer. They're only $13, so that's good. That's great. And I think this is... Um, they're not going to ship it now, per se. I, I think this is only for pre-orders. Let's just see. Edit to cart. Uh, yes. I know. That's going to be complicated now. So anyway, um, <clears throat> let's see. Uh... My library prime just for blah 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 blah. Safe now available according to them. Though probably third party sites. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah, um, I, I'm guessing this is going to be on a pre-order or uh, you can get them now. I'm not hundred percent sure, but yeah, there, there's a lot. If you are into the um crossover thingies, they're great, I guess. Um, for me, I'm not a big fan of this mold. I'm more of the classic, uh, <laughs> not really classic, but the fourth generation molds. So yay. But anywho, uh, you got the Ghostbusters, the Power Rangers, the D&D. D&D is, yeah, this one is cool. This one is fun. Uh, I would say that this is mm, about $60. Are they huge? Oh man. Oh, we got Transformers here. So, yeah. But, anywho, uh, if you want it, you can try and get it on the Hasbro Pulse store. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, they might not ship to Malaysia. But, hey, uh, if you look for a third party service, they might ship it to your country. Yay. So, anywho, let's move on to the next topic. And the next topic is what have I been doing for my week? So, um, my week has been pretty okay. Um, didn't do much. I'm trying to remember what I did. Wow. I don't remember. That's troublesome. Uh, didn't watch any movies. Didn't really... Mm, I did play some games. And they were mostly mobile games. I, I'm not proud of myself. Uh, it was just to kill time. But other than that, uh yeah pff, n nothing new um besides magic the gathering still been playing that that game is very fun if you do like uh strategy and collectible card games that is a game that i would suggest you try and play but other than that um nothing much <clears throat> So let's move on to the next topic and well let's wrap things up let's wrap things up if you guys have any questions or concerns or suggestions for the show you can contact us at mbshowgmail.com you can also reach us on the twitter the show's twitter account is at MBS show, and my personal twitter account is at norman sanzo and also please subscribe and write us on itunes youtube don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date and also stitch radio and also like our facebook page uh, you can also catch us on ponyvalive.com links are in the show notes if you like to support the show you can do so at patreon.com slash mbs show with every support, you get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. And talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank... Oh my god, this is so bright. I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Trist sorry, Jeffrey, Tristan, and also myself. Like, thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll catch you guys later with another fun episode of the show. See ya.